What is up, DG Army? Netherboard, also known as John, back with more Fan Fridays. And I have not done a Fan Friday in probably three or four months or something like that. Anyway, um, this is going to be kind of a long update, so no, no new game news or anything, just a bunch of stuff about my channel and stuff. Since I haven't been doing these, um, there just hasn't been any info on, on what's going on with the channel. Anyway, this is a game that uh, Gabe sent me. They're on Corellia Assaults with a bunch of other DGA guys. And I had a bunch of other DGA footage I was going to show. Um, actually, I wonder if I do have more footage to show. I'll have to check after this game. If I don't, I don't. If I do, sweet. Anyway, um, this is a sweet game you sent me, so check it out. So, what I'm trying to do here, uh, what I'm thinking for, for Fan Friday, uh, actually what I've got coming up is for the channel is I'm trying to set up an interview with a couple of female Watt gamers um, and I had some I got some traction with that and I think I got her the girl's email or something and I sent her a message and I don't think I ever heard back from her so if you're watching please uh, send me a message on YouTube or if you have my email address to uh, email me there we can just do all our coordination through YouTube we don't have to you know use email addresses but anyway uh, let me know what you need to do to get that going. I'd really love to interview you guys. See what, why girls... Apparently it was two wives that played with their husbands, so that's even cooler. Killed the, uh, <laughs> 12 ton, I guess it was hidden. Anyway, um, so if that's you, please, uh, send me a message. So I'm also, I turned on, e uh, comment emails again, so I was getting emails every time I got comments, and I was trying to reply back, even on the older videos. The problem is, it seems like YouTube is not sending them sending those to me anymore because I checked and it's still on but I'm not getting any more emails from older comments I do watch the newer videos but I haven't been watched been able to uh, keep track of the older videos with new comments and the new comments on the older videos so hopefully that comes back because I was really um, really felt great to reconnect to be more connected with fans and stuff like it used to be I really was uh, kind of missing that uh, Fan Friday vids will be showing up probably every two weeks to one to once a month um, probably won't be doing game news as much as I'll be just doing channel news and stuff like that about about my different projects and everything. Um, also, with the pace I've kind of set with my projects and with with uh, with my YouTube uploads, ooh, nice! He's got the uh, perk that shows you what what modules are damaged. That's a pretty cool perk. Anyway, um, with that pace, I've, it's kind of been tiring me out, so I haven't been able to been wanting to comment as much and and uh, reply back to people and everything. Just because I've been so tired. I haven't been wanting to get on uh, TeamSpeak or or the forums and stuff. And, and really that's just because I'm really trying to re... Uh, to shift my focus kind of and get, and get my projects in line. And I'll talk a little more about that later. So sorry if I've been a little harsher with people. I, don't, I felt like I had a couple times. But I've been trying to make it a habit or uh, really work on having more fun with my channel like I used to. And it just gets harder as you try to put out more content, especially since none of my other uh, obligations have let up. In fact, they've probably just grown. I do more stuff with my family now. Like every weekend this week or this month, we're doing something pretty much, so I've had less time to record videos and stuff. But um, And so that just makes it hard to have fun, just strictly have fun and strictly just, you know, talk with people and just have fun with subs. And that's a lot because, you know, I need to grow my channel and I really need to increase my, you know, my accelerate my growth and everything. And, and that just takes extra time and stuff. And until I get used to it, it's just going to take more effort. So anyway, uh, sorry about that. So anyway, now into some Watt-specific news. Sub replays, um, those videos are really just for fun. They're not for strategy or I'm not trying to show you how to play the game. There's a lot of strategy tips in there and tactical tips and stuff. But that's just because I happen to talk about it. Like, you don't see me talk about it, talking about, about that stuff in this video. Because, again, Fan Fridays is not about strategy. Strategy series is about Watt strategy. Um, any other videos that are Watt that are not related to that um, series is just... They're not for strategy, even though I talk about it sometimes. The sub replays, especially, are just for fun and to try to give you guys an opportunity to get some of your footage out there and kind of get your name out, you know, into the community a little bit. So it's kind of my way of saying thanks to you guys. Um, so, on to, also for sub replays, if I don't pick your video, too bad and sorry, um, I'm getting 50 or 60 a week, like I've already said in other videos, and it, you should expect to not get picked, I don't care how good your game is. You kill all 15 tanks, and you're in a, a tier 1, and they're all tier 10s, I might miss it, 
You know, I don't look at every video that comes through. If you have a, if your subject line is like, har har, check this out, I'm probably not going to look at that video. So that could be one of the reasons I missed your video. There are other reasons. Also, if I at, specifically asked for your tank and didn't play your video or show your replay, it stuff happens. You know, I, I, I can't control what happens or what I'm going to do. I don't even know which video I'm going to do until like the night I'm recording it. I don't pick them ahead of time or anything. Um, so just try to be understanding that just because you submitted something does not mean it's going to get picked, even if it's exactly, you know, the tank that I asked for. Now, if, if I say, send me your video, I'm going to post your video, That's a, there's a lot better chance I'm, that I'm going to, but it still doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, um, no matter what. Uh, so anyway, moving on. Um, I'm going to try to do some mod installation tutorials when I do inst install, like, Jimbo's and stuff, which I do need to do. You can see I still need to install Jimbo's and everything. I'm going to try to do some mod installation videos. I haven't done those for a long time, and it would be nice. Those are way, way outdated now. It would be nice for me to get a couple of those up. But no ETA on those, just uh, hopefully soon. Um, I'll just have to wait and see because my upload schedule is getting kind of ridiculous. So anyway, so now on to DG Army specific. And man, you're giving out lots of side armor here, Gabe. DG Army specific... Um, News: The officers are Adalus, Burning Phoenix, and Chaos Ward. Those are the three officers right now. So if you need to know whether or not there's space in the clan, or you know if you can get in to the clan, wow, you have a lot of HE, Gabe, on this tank. Anyway, sorry, not trying to. You do still have a good game, so I'm not trying. Four kills, that's not bad. You're still doing pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, so if you need to know whether or not you can get in or something, make sure you get on the DGNet forums. That's DungeonGuru.net. Uh, slash forums or backslash forums not really sure uh, let me know or get on there and, let, and ask them you know if there are any spaces or what you can do to get in we're trying to get rid of inactives and stuff and get more active people in especially people that are using TeamSpeak so that's what I would do to try to get a slot on uh, DG Army again that's for NA only I don't they don't have any end plates for this game so we're just gonna get another game hold on a sec guys so we're back, and this is a great game I had on on the 103. This time I'm on Prokovorka Assault, but I'm on defense, which is awesome. Now, when you're on defense, you want to go to B7, relatively speaking, or A7, and uh, it's like J8, and just hold people from coming over those two sides. Mainly A7, because you, your guys on the hill cannot shoot guys at A, A7 very well, or, or uh, uh, B6, sorry. So anyway, back to the, the DGA stuff. There's three things the officers and I have talked about really trying to focus on. One is getting more people on TeamSpeak, and I've logged in lately and seen tons of people on there. Uh, there's like 10 to 15 people on there every time I log in, which is great. Again, we have 25 slot servers, so we still got a lot of space, and that is the best way to get involved on, on uh, in the DGA clan. A lot of people platoon in there. They get into company battles. Um, there's tons of stuff going on in there. And the officers, and also Gabe, I've seen him really trying to, they're all trying to get get this uh, clan to become more active and play more more with each other. So, uh, number two is getting more getting more people actively platooning amongst each other. Um, I think it's happening more, especially people that are on TeamSpeak, um, but but it's it's just not going to, when people request, you know, for platoon in, in ch clan chat, it doesn't help as much as if you're on TeamSpeak and you're like, hey guys, you know, I want let's get a platoon going. That usually works out a lot better. I know when I'm on and someone says it, I generally tr try to platoon up. Uh, unless I'm just like up and down, you know, I get one game in, I have to leave. You know, I, I get back. I, I, you know, if I'm up and down, I'm not trying to get a platoon because I don't want guys to have to wait for me. But um, So that's what we're trying to do. And I think we're getting, being pretty effective at doing that. Number three is trying to get more events rolling. Um, I have not been watching whether this is happening or not. I know a couple of our officers got kind of busy when school started. Uh, I think one or two of them are in college, not positive on that. And so, you know, their their workload went up dramatically when uh, when, when their sessions started. So, um, But they said they would be back very shortly, back in the swing of things. So we should have not as much problem with that. And also... Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later, but but with DGA, I'm going to... Actually, I might as well just talk about it now. Well, no, I'll talk about it later. So that's the three things we're really trying to work on on the DG Army um, to get to get us working more closely together and make it more more fun of a more fun clan. Uh, obviously, Also, I know we're trying to work on getting our inactive stuff down. 
trying to get people who are in the main t things are going to be actively platoon platooning and actively on team speak um, I know there's some inactivity there's an inactivity policy thread up and and I'm gonna put the policy thread in the description the video description so please check that out we've got policies up now that the officers pretty much made all that stuff up and then I kind of approved it and I thought it looked good so please check that if you're wondering about inactivity and stuff because if you're inactive we're definitely booting you we're, we're at 100 we're always at 100 and we never have any space and we got tons of people trying to get in so we're we want active people we're gonna be putting active people in the clan so okay next next up is Dungecraft there's really not much to talk about now uh, that you guys already know that the servers changing um, and that really le uh, is really a big part of the last thing I'm going to talk about, and that, it's just going to come up last uh, in my little, little list here. But, but basically, changing the server so that it's really only YouTubers. There isn't a lot of plugins. Basically, dialing back the scope of that project. Um, it wasn't that it was becoming a real problem or anything, but I was kind of spending more time on admin stuff than I wanted to, and I saw that it could, it could potentially become a huge drain and uh, my main goal for YouTube is to spend a lot more of my time on YouTube and so it's really hard to do that if I'm doing a lot of administrative work you know with DG Army and or the, the Dungecraft server so that's why I'm trying to take more of a hands-off approach to those projects because they're kind of ancillary projects um, they're not that's not really my main push um, so, and I'll talk more about that later, but for Dungecraft, there's really nothing coming up except that I've talked to a couple people, and this is just preliminary, nothing's in stone, nothing's really been worked out, but but uh, allowing people access um, basically in a different way, having per, uh, temporary whitelisting access to build a specific project on the server, like stuff that uh, me or the other YouTubers just don't have time to build. Like, one of them is going to be help with the um, PvP arena, I'll be uh, kind of quote unquote contracting a person who's you know really good with Minecraft to come on and help build and uh, I've already got somebody contracted to build the spawn city um, I have to work with him to get him on and get him access he hasn't started yet because uh, things are kinda up in the air still a little bit with the new server but yeah he's gonna be coming on and basically what it's gonna how it's gonna work is you're gonna get a little apartment or something in the, in the newbie in the uh, spawn city where you're gonna be able to um, have your chests and your stuff and you're still gonna have to mine and stuff and get all your own resources but you're gonna be able to put them in that chest use those resources to build and then when you leave you know when you're when, you, when you've built what you're building and your your uh, building is finished um, you'll keep all your stuff in your little apartment that'll still be your apartment nobody's gonna take it away from you that way if you pick up another project you'll already have materials you'll all, already be all set up and you'll have your own space it'll be your house nobody else's house also um, we'll be touring the server and showing off different projects and stuff a lot of the projects are gonna be for special occasions like Christmas I wanna have a little series um, I'm gonna try to do a Halloween thing but I'm not sure if I'll be able to so but that would be another one I would be doing maybe Easter egg hunt stuff like that so that's gonna be the stuff that I'll be will be contracting out um, or just other stuff like help building a castle or something if I'm, I want to live in a castle and I just don't have time to build it all might contract it out so that's another way we're, you know that's kind of the reduced way we're gonna let people play on the server that aren't youtubers um, again sorry it's changed but it's just really what's gonna have to happen it's just the way it is so this game is actually a little, it's kind of running long. Let me just fast forward it because this is getting kind of boring here because we're just doing major defense and we're doing a really good job, but it's very boring as you can see. So, and I wanted to get one more game in before the end of what I need to talk about, which, okay, so now they're making a run for it. These guys that have been holding back the whole game, they go to take out that T-34 and he's almost half dead. I'm trying to get a track, but I didn't. I got a, I think all my, the tracks did absorb my shell though. ST1, I think, is trying to take me out. They should have focused down that T-34, which I think they're trying to do. I'm getting some nice side shots on the on the STI here, or ST1. I think it's STI. I'm going to take him out first because he's almost dead and he's right in my face. I'm trying to block shots to the T-34, and he, T-34 got taken out anyway. IS-3 trying to keep me on the side, but it doesn't matter. My turret's up in his face. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Now he's trying to back up and get my lower hull. Hits me in the gun. I I think I repaired it. I really didn't need to, probably. We're pretty much taking these guys out. We're doing it just right. We don't have to attack. They have to attack. Really getting uh, some nice shots on this Ice 3. I think that he just bounced out of the shot, though. And already helping me out here. 
backing up, shooting them right in the front plates. With this 400 and something, or 200 and something, 260 something, yeah, 269 pin uh, gun, no problem shooting this IS-3. Boom, you're dead. So he's gone. We won. We won the little uh, push on this side, no problems. I do have end plates for this video, so we'll be. I'll be showing them in a, in a minute here. Again, let's speed this up a little bit because it's pretty much over, and I want to show you those end plates. So yeah, that's all that there is to show you, tell you about Dunchcraft, and it is kind of fun to re to restart the server. It was the server was very confined, just kind of confining. Um, I don't know where that shell went, uh, but anyway, it was just felt confined, you know, with the space I had to work with in town, not helping a lot. I couldn't get real creative with my builds as far as building a special building for this certain factory and all that. And I noticed I was having so much fun with that solar panel factory, you know, having that space made it a lot of more fun, a lot more fun. I got to build a special building for it and stuff. So and I've got some good ideas with what I've got going so far on the server, so that should be pretty fun. Um, also, it helped out the other guys a lot because there's there, I was more willing to sink time into mining and stuff, and, and most YouTubers just don't have that kind of time. So they're just, especially tech it guys, are more used to having, you know, tech it help them out in that regard. So let's look at the end plates real quick for this game. So here is the first plate we see, and I've got a, it looks like a 1500 point game because it's, it's doubled, so that was an awesome game. 4,800, or 48,000 credits, which is really cool. Um, destroyed three, lots of shots on guys, and too bad I can't mouse over stuff. That's one of the things I don't like too, but, uh, spotted a guy, and looks like I got, I got some, uh, XP and credits for spotting, or, um, basically helping radio back the target for a couple guys that were getting hit so great game nice uh, credits and it shows with and without it still would have been a thousand point game even without premium but it's 1500 point game and let's look at the next plate here and I think I was zooming in a little bit before um, sorry about I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to do this because this is pretty bad anyway here's the second one again I sorted for XP I'm top XP by about 70 um, Killed three guys. Really nice game. Didn't get any medals, which is... That's fine, though. Look, I had the best game. The guy with the most XP had the best game. That's kind of how it works. So, um, again, really nice game. That's where I stood on, on the ladder there. And here's the last plate. Again, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do this because it's not... Real, I don't like this way. Uh, 10 pens out of 11, 11 uh, direct hits. Four, ten, it looks like 11 out of 14 shots. I mean, it's nice that they're showing the pens out of how many hits you got. Before, you could just see how many times you hit, but you didn't know how many time, times you actually penetrated. Received nine hits. Pretty good for not dying. Um, I caused almost 3,000 damage. Really awesome. The way this works kind of is, you take the hit points of your tank, which, that can't be right. I don't think it's 1,200. It's got to be higher than that. Yeah, this is not the correct tank, I don't think. Where can I see? No, this is my Panther too. You take the hit points of your tank, and you've got to try to at least get that many hit points of damage on the enemy. So I far surpassed that, so I did really good in this game. Um, really nice credits. So, okay, 48,000 without the reductions and stuff. So almost 20,000. Pretty nice. Anyway, let's get uh, one more game into this thing. So here's a great game I had on Himmelsdorf. The freaking map I couldn't figure out what it was the other day. Um, and it's a standard battle, which I don't get a lot of these anymore. But I had really been pushing this tank, the T-54, to try to get my two times this day. And this was like my third time on this map, and I kept getting teams that didn't know how to play the map. So we'll see how this one goes. I have had a pretty good game, though. Lots of nice big mediums. Uh, I'm going to be going up the hill here. So just trying to get out of the start area, a little bit of herp derp there. Anyway, back to the news. So I want to play a new game. I don't know what if, should, if it should be Borderlands 2. DayZ, which is actually getting a little played out. Torchlight 2, which is a lot like Diablo, and it's, it looks okay. Um, or some other game. Borderlands 2 seems kind of cool just because it's a FPS, and I haven't really played one of those in a little while. Um, and it's single player. I kind of like that. Well, I mean, it's uh, it's PVE FPS, which I like PVE or PVP FPS, but it's kind of a nice change for me. I've been playing all my FPSs have been PVP pretty much for a long time, so. I could also do some Planetside 2 beta footage. I, th I was thinking about doing like three or four videos of that. Let me know what you think about that. Um, but really, I need a new game to do a series on. And it would be something I did once a week or maybe two times a week. Um, really, because I just want something new to do. I only have two games right now. I want to have three. So let me know what you think. Tell me um, your suggestions, suggestions on which game I should do. Um, 
it should be relatively new game and have and be pretty popular. That's kind of uh, the criteria for me for doing stuff on YouTube. There could be other games I play, but I don't post them because they're not very popular and it's kind of a waste of, of video in my opinion. Anyway, so let me know what you think. So the big thing I wanted to talk about was I'm try really trying to, to dial back my projects. Um, and what I mean by that is 85 to 90 percent I feel like of my time should be spent on creating YouTube videos, uh, playing games to, to get ready for even to prepare for, for getting ready for footage. Like you know pl playing World of Tanks to get my two times that's spending time towards YouTube because I'm trying to get tanks ready for strategy series I'm um, trying to get used trying to get used to tanks trying to get some good uh, replay footage for, for different um, videos and stuff so to me that's that's putting time toward YouTube. Same thing for um, Tech It. If I'm building like a, building something off camera and all that, or you know, a big wall or some kind of new building or something that I'm not going to record, that's still time I'm spending toward the YouTube project. Uh, if I spend time at administrating the YouTube ser or the Dungecraft server, um, or if I spend time on DGA, that's not really time spent toward the YouTube project. I know that sounds really selfish and crappy, but I don't have a lot of time to spend on my YouTube project, and I'm really trying to use this thing as a secondary form of income. Eventually, right now I'm not making a lot or anything. It's just kind of an investment, like a, a business. So I'm trying to dump a lot of time into that, what little time I do have, since I do have a 40-hour-a-week job, plus family and two kids and stuff, which we're very active, we go do things too. Um, I'm trying to get enough footage out there to really justify this as a business. Um, it, again, it's basically me trying to do something, um, trying to make money and do something like a business, but something I really love doing, which is playing games, something I've done for 25-something years or more, uh, pretty heavily. Um, so that's why it sounds like, wow, what a, you know, what a jerk move, you know, not trying to spend as much time on DGA and all that stuff, but it really is because, um, if I do that, I'm really, my business is suffering and I really need to make those hard decisions. Wow, I got really lucky right there that that guy missed me. Um, so, basically, I, I've cut back a little bit on my projects and kind of changing them up a little bit, as you saw with the reset of the Dungecraft server. Um, and a lot of that is due to me trying to pump up my how many videos I'm putting out a week. I'm just now getting up to 7 videos a week, which is really not that much. I want to bump it up to like 12 to 14, or 10 to 14 or something like that. And I'll be able to do that with a new series. It'll probably help me 2 or 3 more videos a week. Um, also, um, doing more Dungecraft videos has helped. Um, just kind of changing up my style of Dungecraft video has helped. And I don't know why I couldn't get through this guy's armor on the side, but I couldn't. Um, do another, you know, another sub replay, stuff like that. So, another thing is, DGNet forums will be changing quite a bit. And that's the end of this game, I can actually do my other game. That's, uh, that's cool, because I actually had another game I wanted to show you. So let's look at the end plates for this game. Yes, I figured it out, man. I can play this thing as a slideshow. So here's the whoa, whoa, ho, ho. So here's the first uh, end plate, and I might have a problem here because <laughs> it wants to just automatically play. Um, Mastery badge, second class, pretty good for for a stock T54. Sorry, I have to keep bumping back and forth. This is not the way I'm going to be able to do it. 1400 point game, pretty awesome. And 40, well, I'm not even going to look at that. Sniper, that's pretty awesome too. Um, killed two, damaged. Six guys, pretty cool. Um, lots of hits. Uh, spotted a guy. Now let's look at the team score. Again, I sorted to the top for XP, 949. I got a sniper. Killed two guys. Still alive with 36% left. And this is not going to be the way I can do it, but whatever. Detailed report. Uh, 12 pens out of 16 shots. It's probably because I was shooting that one TD in the side. Seven, 16 out of 17 shots connected. Um, enemies damage six. I didn't get a confederate, probably because either those guys didn't die or somebody got more than six um, and they got the Confederate. Um, damage upon spotting, 190. Look at that, 2,400 damage. Again, you want to look at your uh, hit points, which for me is 1,550 hit points, and I got 2,400 damage. That's how you know you had a great game. If it should be over the amount of hit points your tank has. 29,000 credits, really good um, credit earning on this tank. So that's that was this game, and let's get another one. Here's a game I had on Steps Encounter in my... Uh, Panther 2, and I'm really grinding this tank as well. I'm really trying to grind my higher tier tanks now, because I'm really tired of playing just all low tier tanks all the time. And I get stuck at like tier 7, and then I can never get any new tanks. 
A lot of that is because of credits, but also a lot of it is because I don't have tanks unlocked, so I can even buy them. Um, so, again, playing the Panther 2, Panther 2 here, and I have a really good game. So, anyway, uh, so DGNet forums are going to be changing quite a bit. I'll be pruning them quite a bit. I think there are too many forums on there now. It's very confusing on where people should be posting. Also, there's a lot of permissions to manage in there, and I want to get rid of that a little bit, too. Um... So there won't be huge changes. It's just going to be some slight changes. Basically cutting out forms we don't need. Um, also, the DGNet site. Hopefully, soon I will have time to revamp that site. It's probably going to be a while, though. Um, I, I just have too many projects still going. Um, you know, trying to pick up a new game. Trying to trying to get the builders on to being able to build on, uh, on, on Dungecraft. So... Just other things to be doing. To be doing. Once all that stuff's done, I'm not do, picking up any new projects. I'll probably start working on the DGNet site. Maybe make it really awesome. Maybe post uh, some of the replays up there. Keep them up there for a couple of weeks if someone has a really stellar game or something. Uh, that could be something I could give back to you guys with. Um, DGA. I'm going to be giving out more power to the officers and stuff, and the players, mainly the officers, because me be, not being around as much, I really feel like the people who are around a lot should be making the decisions. Um, the only big, I will only be helping make or making the big, big decisions like if we we're going to do clan wars or not. You know, huge decisions like that. Um, inactivity change, like the policy changes and stuff. I'll be, I'll be weighing in on that. I mean, I'll be weighing in on any decisions, but they're going to basically be driving, driving the whole thing. Probably be adding three more officers soon. Uh, my wife keeps trying to call me, and she's, she's gonna have to wait. So, probably be adding three more officers to help them out with that. Um, that should help a lot with running it. Make sure there's an officer on at all times uh, and stuff like that. So, hope that should be happening fairly soon. Probably at the same time the uh, DGA European side kicks off. I'll probably be doing that on a live stream, and I really do want to start streaming soon again every uh, Friday. I have had YouTube streaming um, for a while, and I've also had my upgraded... Um, uh, connection and I haven't been able to use it because I've been just so busy and stuff so hopefully Fridays I'll be doing that and that's kinda all I wanted to talk about about my projects and stuff uh, let me know what you guys think about my projects and stuff I know it's changed a lot if you watch a lot of my pr um, older Fan Friday videos my projects of uh, scope have changed quite a bit since then but that's what happens when YouTube channels grow um, your, you know, your scope and your direction changes a lot, um, especially since most larger channels really try to focus on volume and stuff. Once they can get, uh, they know they're going to get a certain amount of views on their videos. It helps them move up the search engine, and then kind of spamming the search engine is what really helps you grow. After that, it's kind of gets you some, uh, some nice um, organic growth going where you're not having to promote your own stuff. Uh, your fans are helping you promote your stuff, which is again the whole reason uh, this this channel is kind of a uh, what's that called a symbiosis between me putting out videos and you guys watching them and liking them and replying and stuff and basically having that feedback loop of you saying I liked this video or not and me refining my videos so that you guys like them because yes I have to like what I'm doing yes I have to like the videos I'm posting and stuff but mainly you guys have to like it too or else if you guys don't view it what's the point of me posting it so again I'm having a pretty good game here had some good help from those TDs my job basically right there was to spot and I don't have Binox on this thing because I did put um, a vert stab on it but I'm thinking I might want to put Binox on this thing again the E50 and E50M are more mobile and in-your-face, and the Panther II is more of a sniper. I was kind of hoping it would be more in-your-face, but it's really not. So here's me pushing up to the very on the, and at the very end of this game here in a counter game. And we already had a lot of guys going for cap, which is great, which means I did not have to worry about cap. All I really had to worry about was making sure that the other the enemy team did not route us from the, from the back like they were trying to do. So now I'm just going to go hunt for Artie. They're almost always sitting in this corner when it's an encounter map. And there we go. There's a Hummel. And he doesn't see me, which is really good. Let's see, can I do this? Yes! Caught him on the corner. Doesn't even phase him. He's not even going to look over. He's probably zooming in on someone right now. He's got the big gun, though. I can tell that. And I miss! I was trying to shoot him before he got a shot off. Now I'm getting shot at. 
Boom! He should have probably shot that shot at me. Although he wouldn't have been able to take me out. So the other Artie's taken out after I spotted him. E8, no problems. Boom! In your face! E8, the only thing they have is speed. If you're not moving, you're probably dead. And yes, he is dead. So three kills. Really nice game in my Panther, my Panther 2 here. Um, another thing I've been kicking around is somehow <laughs> in my busy schedule getting in some German classes. I really want to learn German. I actually, I, some of you guys might know this. I, I really did look into um, what the citizenship requirements were for for uh, German for German citizenship and uh, possibly going back to the to the father fatherland or whatever you call it, uh, whatever you guys call it. Um, to go back to my roots. Um, I don't know. I really like the German uh, approach to things and their policies. I don't know a lot about them, but I've just heard a, I've heard some about it, and I've been watching the EU crisis and just the way that Germany's handling things. And I just think it's a, the way they do it is is good. Um, you know, not being totally callous to people, but also just not giving away everything for free. You know, making people work for stuff and be a cannibal for themselves. I really think that's good policy. So anyway, great game here, and I'm going to show you the end plates. Get right to it, because my wife's probably going to call me again. Hold on a second. So that was a pretty good game. 1,100-point game here. Um, again, doesn't really matter looking at that. Three kills. Damage five guys. Um, kind of looks like I uh, got some critical damage on one guy. And here you go. This is probably where I got a lot of my XP and credits. Spotting guys while those TDs were jacking them up. That helped me a lot. And then spotting those two Arties helped. Uh, so let's look at my team score here. Um, second on the list this time for XP. Uh, the ETH E8 just had a ridiculous game, and but I had a really good game too. I still had 91% of my hit points left, killed three guys. Um, pretty awesome. Um, and for detailed report, only 12 out of 16 shots connected, and that's because I uh, didn't lead a couple a couple guys right or something in the beginning, and also shot the ground when uh, I was trying to take out that Hummel before I got a chance to shoot. Um, 1400 damage and my hit points are 1450 so pretty de that's a good game still it's just not a redonkulous game you know and again a lot of my a lot of my help to my team was spotting and um, just trying to keep people lit while those TDs shot at them so pretty nice game 17 or 18,000 credits received uh, after taxes and a uh, good game let me know what you think about fan Fridays coming back and I'll talk uh, see you guys next